Hi, welcome to another episode of Wagstaff Explains. Today's topic, mean absolute deviation. Let's take a look at our question. A chicken farmer wants her chickens to all have about the same weight. The farmer records the weights of the chickens in the pen in the table below. What is the variability in growth weight? So we have all of the growth weights of the chickens listed here in the table. We need to first by start entering this data into our calculator. So let's go to our calculator. Okay, now we're at the calculator. So to calculate the mean absolute deviation, it's done in three parts. So we're gonna start with part one, which is entering in our data and then finding the mean of that data. So we wanna start with stat, option one, and then we're going to enter our data into L1. So we have 5 5.8, 6.1, 5.5, 6.6, 7.3, 5.9, 6.3, 5.7, 6.8, and 7.1. So now that we have entered our data into L1, now we want to find the mean or average of those data points. So let's go to the home screen. We get there by doing second mode. And now from the home screen, we want to press second, stat. We want to arrow over to math. Choose option three for mean. We want to find the mean or average of the data that's in L1. So we want to do second, one, and then press enter. And so now this is the mean of all of our data points. So now we're going to move on to part two, which is to find the absolute value of our data points from the mean or average. So let's go to stat. Option one for edit. We want to arrow over to the L2 column, and then we want to arrow up to L2. So now your cursor should be on L2. So now press math, arrow over to numbers, and then we want to choose option one, which is ABS or absolute. Now we want to type in our mean of our data, which is 6.31. And then we want to subtract that so we can get the distance from our data points in L1. So second, one for L1, and then press enter. So now you can see that L2 is populated with the distance each data point is from the mean. So that is part two. So now we want to go and find the mean or average of these data points or of the distance. So let's go back to the home screen, second mode, and now we want to find the mean. So second, stat, arrow over to math, Choose option three again for mean. And this time we want to find the mean or average of our distance points in L2. So second, two, and then press enter. And now we have the average distance. Okay, so in our calculator, this first number represents the mean of the growth weights. This second number represents the variability or the mean absolute deviation of the average distance or the absolute value of these data points from the mean. 
Thank you for watching another episode of Wagstaff Explains. Now you know how to find mean absolute deviation.